What's happening? Why was the goddess of light detained in the nightmare bubble like that? Could she escape? Let's follow War Fairy Tales with today's story. From the old days, the world was ruled by the goddess of darkness and the goddess of light. The goddess of light was always welcomed by all the people because she brought light to species. She even gave everyone the nice dreams. Hmm, why do everyone love her? And why was I alienated? I can't accept it. That's right. Why don't I plan to kidnap her? Then I can take this world for myself. The Goddess of Light had a god demon. It helped her collect the nightmares and protect nice dreams for everyone. Hmm. The Goddess <laughs> of Darkness planned to create a path with full of nightmare bubbles to attract a sacred deer to enter her territory. While looking for her deer, the goddess of light was fallen into the trap of the goddess of darkness. Then she was detained in a nightmare bubble without being able to escape. Before being sucked into the bubble, the goddess of light tried her best to free her demon, hoping that everything would be better. Run! Quickly run away, escape from here and find the way to save the world! After trying its best to escape, its whole body got injured. The deer tried its best to go everywhere to find a glimpse of hope to save the goddess of light. Without the goddess of light, the world slipped back to the darkness. Everyone was frightened every night with the nightmare. The deer wandered around until it reached a village. It was exhausted and immediately collapsed. Luckily, it was saved by Emma, a poor orphanage who brought it back to her home and cured it. Thank you so much, my savior. You saved my little life. You're welcome. I'm glad that you're awake. Why do you live here alone in this mother's house? Where are your parents? I'm an orphan who has been raised by the mayor of that village. But sadly, his daughter doesn't like me. Then all of the friends isolate me. Then I'm always lonely like this. But I always believe that the good things will come to me one day. I'm the demon of the goddess of light. But my master is now kidnapped by the goddess of darkness. I'm really worried for her. Without her, the world will be full of darkness and nightmares. So let me help you. To save her, you need to step into the world of dreams and wake the goddess up from the nightmare. It will be really dangerous. Don't worry, I will find a way to save the goddess. I can't let everyone live in nightmares forever anyway. Seeing the determination of the little girl, the deer agreed to step back and shake its horn. Immediately, the gate of the world of dreams opened. Wait, I have a gift for you. Wish your best of luck and peace. And remember, sometimes you can control your own dreams. Emma waved merrily at the deer and stepped inside. Being in the world of dreams, the dust on Emma's body suddenly turned her clothes into a gorgeous dress. Not only that, there was also another small sword dropping into her hand. Emma was really happy, but it didn't last for so long. She was surrounded by the cold and the darkness. She dropped in darkness. Suddenly, she was stopped by a voice. You insolent! You dare mess up in the world of dreams? In front of you, there are three unicorns. One of them is your mayor of the village who was charmed. You will have to decide if you make the wrong decision. Your mayor won't be able to come back forever. <laughs> Emma freaked out. She didn't know what to choose because the three unicorns looked exactly like each other. Then she regained her composure. She carefully looked at the unicorns 
Then she realized that the eyes of the unicorn in the middle looked really familiar to the one of the mayor. <laughs> Those eyes were more effective and had the light blue color. She quickly chose the one in the middle. Immediately, the mayor of the village appeared and smiled with her. <laughs> Daughter, thank you for saving me. Wish you peace. <laughs> huh? Emma continued her journey. Then she reached the cliff and saw the daughter of the mayor, the one who always bullied her. As she was about to fall off the cliff high above. Emma immediately crossed the broken bridge to save her friend. But when she just reached halfway, the bridge was cut in two. At that moment, the daughter of the mayor also slipped off. Emma luckily grabbed the bridge and timely reached her friend. The two girls tried her best to cling to the suspension bridge and climbed up. <laughs> Emma, Emma, huh? thank you for giving your everything to save me. I'm really sorry for what I had done to you. I wish you best of luck to come back. Being able to save two of them, Emma happily continued her journey. To the end of the dream, she huh? could see the goddess of life who was sleeping in the nightmare bubble. She intended to break the bubble to rescue the goddess, but she was blocked by the goddess of darkness. <laughs> it's not easy to save her. You have to overcome my challenge first, little girl. Guards, attack her! Emma took the sword to fight against them, but she was quickly knocked out. Wait! Huh? I'm now in the world of dreams. I can control my own dreams! <laughs> then Emma closed her eyes and imagined that there were no monsters around her. There were the villagers who surrounded <laughs> and smiled with her. The dark army immediately vanished. <laughs> The goddess of darkness angrily used her magic to attack Emma. Emma boldly took the attack and imagined that they were only smooth wounds. Emma strongly rushed there, overcoming the goddess of darkness, and swung the sword to break the nightmare bubble. From the nightmare, the goddess of light gradually woke up. She casted a spell, making the light cover the world and the Goddess of Darkness was detained in the nightmare bubble that she had created. For the light, all the species weren't withered anymore. They were refreshed. The Goddess of Light brought Emma back to reality. Emma, thank you for saving me and this world. You are the most benevolent girl I've ever met. All the best things will come to you, my dear. The daughter of the mayor also came to Emma and wanted to be friend with her. From that day, Emma lived in the love of everyone. Thanks to the goddess of light, everyone wasn't scared of nightmares anymore. They lived peacefully forever after. Nothing better than freely studying new magic. Oh, this is weird. Is it a formula? Creating fire, water, wind, and nature powers? Wow, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I must try it out. Hmm. <laughs> Great, I succeeded. Four types of elements, fire, water, wind, and nature. <gasps> oh no, the power of these four elements is getting stronger and stronger. I can't control anymore. Ah! <clears throat> Hi, Sabrina. Oh. <laughs> What happened, Sab? <gasps> I've lost control of these magic balls! Sandy, watch out! <gasps> cool, she's back! 
What happened to me? Sorry, Sandy. Those are the four elements that I just created with magic. But I couldn't control them. Just when you walked in, so... You really oh. are a troublemaker. Mm, I'm sorry. Four elements? What do you mean? <gasps> Oops! It's the power of the wind! Oh my god! How do I get it back now? <gasps> it's the power of fire and ice! <coughs> oh, Alex, sorry! I can't control them! Are you alright? <laughs> and that's the power of nature! Sabrina, do you have a way to break the spell for Sandy? This is the first time I made it. I'm looking, mm -hmm. but nothing was found in the book. <sighs> I have never huh? thought magic could be this troublesome. What should I do mm -hmm. now? Oh, your magic has stopped working. Hmm. Sandy, I need to mm -hmm. study more about the elements first. In the meantime... Oh. Please temporarily wear gloves to avoid trouble. You can rest assured. I and Sabrina will find a way to neutralize them for you. Are you sick? Why are you dressed like this? Uh, you, you don't understand. I don't want you to get hurt. Perfect! This sapling is just what I needed for a surprise present for my lady. Sure, boss. <gasps> you guys, <gasps> stop! What are you two doing? Why do you damage trees like that? <clears throat> Who are you? It's none of your business. It's just a sapling. <clears throat> what is it worth? I took it already. What can you do to me? Even a small sapling huh? also has hmm? a soul. If you have disobeyed, then I will have to stop you. Look at her. Does she think we're afraid when she takes off her gloves? <laughs> <laughs> Elements, give me your strength to stop the evil ahead. I want to borrow the power of the wind! What's that? Run! Fortunately, the small tree has not been uprooted yet. <laughs> That's amazing! Do you know how to use magic? Mm. Thank you for saving me and giving me a soul! <laughs> you are welcome, little tree. I'm Sandy. Nice to meet you! We have been waiting for a miracle person for a long time, and you have appeared! Sandy, can you help my friends too? Please? Okay, take me there. <gasps> oh no! The plants here are all withered! I have to start now. Great! Miracle has come to our garden! Guys, it's all thanks to Sandy! Thank you, Miracle <laughs> Girl! You saved our whole kingdom! But why is your garden so dry? Uh, that's because the garden's princess tree is seriously ill. She's been hit by an evil curse for a long time, and our whole kingdom is affected. Please, Please save, save our, our princess. princess! I'm ready. Take me to your princess tree. That's our princess. She is the one that has influence over the whole garden. <gasps> Poor girl. She lacks the necessary elements, so she always lacks vitality. In order to save her, I must give her all of my elemental powers. And then I won't be able to use magic anymore. I always believe that the greatest trick is created by scientific research myself. 
If sacrificing my own magic could save this garden, then I don't need to consider anymore. <laughs> I volunteered to sacrifice my elemental powers to save the princess tree and this whole garden! <laughs> Thank you very much, wonderful girl. You have lifted a curse for me and this garden. The princess is recovered! The, the garden, garden is saved! Is saved. Sandy, this is my magic seed. It is the raw material for making miracle drugs that help plants grow with positive energy. Hope it helps you. <laughs> That's how it happened. Indeed, I prefer this magical plant to those four elemental powers. Anything in the basement? <laughs> they were all objects sealed by my mother. So if we are not careful to let them out, it can be dangerous for us. Sabrina, you forgot to clean your things again. I'm coming. You stay here to clean and remember not to mess around with the furniture. I... No. <laughs> Fortunately, there were no scratches. Are you an ordinary person? Looks like the picture. Just talk to me. I have to tell Sabrina. Stop! Huh? Come over here. Help me untie the ceiling rope and towel for me to get out of here. Alex, have you done the clean yet? Huh? So tired. I don't know. When I was cleaning, I had a headache. Then I couldn't remember anything. Oh, because I was careless to leave you alone here. Maybe you were affected by sealing the dark magic? Let's go up and eat a cake made by my mother, and you'll be fine. I also got some extra stuff for you in the room. Hmm. out of the picture. I will take revenge on you for sealing me for 16 years. Oops, what's going on? I must have accidentally spilled something. Um, I'm so angry. I didn't expect Brent was that old. But she just stretched out her hand and still knocked me into another room. She even didn't think that she was threatened. So, how can I get revenge? Alex, when my daughter is done, you two can eat cake and take a rest. <laughs> yes. All right. Huh? I'm going to bring this cake to the <laughs> orphanage. Sabrina, remember to take your stuff quickly. Yes. Oh, that girl is Brenda's daughter. <laughs> so if I can't find Brenda, I will take my revenge on that boy and her little daughter. <laughs> hmm. Ah! W w why are these items flying toward me? So you want to use this opportunity to tease me with magic? I didn't do anything to you! It's you who teased me! Huh? <laughs> Did you... hear someone laugh? Who? Is that your red herring? Here. 
I heard laughter coming from the basement. Let me use magic. with Brenda's family. It turned out that she was the reason. We have to stop her. But how? This is my mother's magic book. In this book, there is a way to draw a magic circle to seal the Isolde painting princess. You draw it in the living room, and I'll take the painting, the towel, and the magic rope. Okay. From. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I got it! Hmm, <laughs> daughter of Brenda, quickly give me back these things! No way! <laughs> I caught you! But where's that boy? <laughs> Are you drawing the magic circle to seal me? Huh? Huh? Stay away from me! What if I don't? What will you do? Your circle is broken! <laughs> what is that? It's the second magic circle I drew for you! Let me go! Huh? <laughs> From now on, just obediently stay in the picture and stop causing trouble! <laughs> no! No! I will come back for revenge! <laughs> Sabrina, are you okay? No problem. Now just bring her back to the basement and detain her more carefully. That's probably safe. Now we can safely go to the kitchen to find cakes to eat. <laughs> <laughs> 